<laughs> For me, fly casting defines fly, uh, fly fishing. Okay, and what we're trying to do when we're fly casting is create a loop of line. We use the rod, we accelerate the rod, we stop the rod. That creates a loop of line that carries the fly to the target. It looks like this. It's a stop, and a stop, and there's the loop of line. Now the loop of line looks like this. And it functions like this. As instructors, we read someone's casting loop and that tells us the health of their cast. So a loop has two legs. We have in this case the fly leg attached to the fly. This is the rod leg. This here is the loop face. In good fly casting, we want a straight fly leg. As examiners, we are looking at the shape of your fly leg. A straight fly leg is created by a straight tip path. When we accelerate from here to here, from here to here, we move the tip of the rod in a straight line, we end up with a straight fly leg. If we move the tip of the rod in a curve, like so, we end up with a curved fly leg. We call this a domed loop, or a big round fat loop. If the path of the tip of the rod is curved right through the stroke, like so, we end up with this big round, generally ineffective loop. Now I'll just straighten that out again. So a straight path of the tip of the rod creates a straight fly leg, which is our ideal. A domed path creates a wide open domed loop. There's one other way the tip path can go. And that is, it can dip down and come back up again. Like so, usually through a very poor acceleration, which happens because of other factors. We'll go into that a little later. But a dipped path of the tip of the rod during the casting stroke creates a dip in the fly leg. Whatever, like that, there's the dip in the, in the, in the path of the tip of the rod, it results in a dip in the fly leg of the loop. And it looks like that. Oh, I'm telling you, someone else is wrong. Okay? So how do they look in the air? They look like this. Here's a straight line path to the tip of the rod. Gives me a straight fly leg. I'm moving the rod tip back and forth. Nice and straight. Now, here's a domed path of the tip of the rod. Like a windscreen wiper. You see the big wide open loop. Look how badly affected by the wind it is. There's no energy. Now here, on the next cast, I'll, I'll tell you when, it's going to be a concave path of the tip of the rod. On the next one. Caused by a sudden spike of acceleration in the middle of the stroke, which has caused the rod tip to bend and then come back up again, and there's the tailing loop, it manifests in the fly leg. Okay? Bingo.